Hi everyone. My name is G. Sanjay Kumari, Assistant Professor from the Department of ECE, Sistec, Putur. Today we are going to learn about the classification of random process and the power spectrum of a signal from signal systems and random process. These are the course objectives of signals and systems. These are the course outcomes of signals and systems. Next one is classification of random process. A random process can be defined as a random outcome of an experiment. And this random process can be classified into four different types. One is continuous random process, discrete random process, continuous random sequences, discrete random sequences. So this random process can be defined with respect to the random variable x and time t where it ranges between minus infinity to infinity. So here you can see the different concept of random process in graphical representation. Next one, distribution and density function. The density function and distribution function are related to each other, where the derivative of the distribution function is called the density function, where the distribution function can be represented as the parameter x of x of t, and the density function can be represented with a help of the distribution function that is small f of f, f of x of t equals to d of f of x of t by dx. So you can define it as a first order probability density function of the process x of t where both these density functions depends upon the random variable and time t. Next one, power spectrum. The power spectrum is the representation of power of a signal. It is present in a particular input of a signal. For a deterministic signal x of t, the spectrum is defined as x of omega equals to integral minus infinity to infinity x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. So in the help of Fourier transform, we can define the power spectrum of a signal where mod of x of omega square represents the energy spectrum. So based on the Parcells theorem, the signal energy is given by integral minus infinity to infinity x square of t dt equals to 1 by 2 pi integral minus infinity to infinity mod x of omega square d omega. So I can see the representation of energy in time domain and frequency domain. Mod x of omega square represents the signal energy. And here you can see the uh, graphical representation of input signal in time domain and also the frequency representation of the same signal. Here we can define the frequency of a signal or the spectral distribution of a power versus frequency. So between the infer interval minus t to t. So with the help of Fourier transform, we can represent the signal x of omega as x of omega equals to integral minus t to t x of t into e power minus j omega t dt. where x of omega can be represented. So it will be in the finite interval minus t comma t. So we can represent the same in the power distribution as x of omega square by 2t. So where the equation is 1 by 2t integral minus t to t x of t into e power minus j omega t dt whole square. Where the x of omega by 2t is a power distribution function. So that the energy and power, based on this, we can based on the energy and power, we can define the power spectrum of a signal. And these are the references that you followed 
for this presentation. And these are the references. Thank you.